Hey YouTubers, this is Bob. Well, it's so good to be back with you guys. Well, it's Thursday, and just wanted to remind you guys that uh, for those of you who have been waiting to have your your letters answered, uh, I will be doing uh, live readings tonight on Temple of Gaia Radio, and that's at 8 p.m. Eastern U.S. time, uh, 5 p.m. West Coast U.S. time, 1 a.m. London time, and I'll be with the Reverend Kevin Baird on Temple of Gaia on themixtalk.com, and we'll put it up here on the screen for you. But do tune in, tune in tonight for live on the air psychic readings. Okay, well, uh, before we get into the letters, give me just a moment and let me attune to the spirit world. Okay. My spirit guy Fletcher's over here. He says hi to you guys. Okay, my first letter tonight goes out to Kawaii Raymond. And uh, hi, Kawaii Raymond. You know, I see around you the month of February is important because it looks like there's an issue here around a move for you. And I feel there may actually be a change of home and possibly also a change of job, but it feels like a positive change for you. Um, and Fletcher's over here telling me, he says, yes, and tell him that he also has a lot of musical talent that is being untapped. And I want you to do some research in the music area. I see you doing something with guitar playing, okay? But um, anyways, the move in February looks positive. Okay, thanks for writing. All right, my next letter is for Moila04. Hi. And uh, Moila writes about the Ouija board. Yes, um, you can buy a Ouija board at Toys R Us, and it'll work just fine. You don't have to spend a fortune. Um, and in terms of being possessed, no, you're not going to get possessed. But you do want to raise the vibration and visualize white light surrounding you because you know with the Ouija board uh, as you meditate you raise your energy and you'll draw to yourself better and higher spirits. It's the people who just play around flippantly with it who get into trouble because they draw in lower energy spirits. But if you uh, make an effort to be attuned to the higher level you'll be fine. Okay? Thank you for writing. All right, my next letter, uh, Zora Rock. Hi, Zora Rock. You know, I have to tell you, I pick up around you um, two spirit guides here, and their names are Mark and Matthew. Uh, and they keep telling me, they said, we were with him in the war. So it looks like you died in World War II at the invasion of Normandy, okay? And they're also telling me that you had a brother in that life uh, who was in the war with you as well. Now, he didn't die in the war, but he was with you. And he is now reincarnated with you as your brother. And the reason why he's reincarnated is to kind of keep an eye on you. Okay, so since you died last time, he's back to keep an eye on you this time. Okay, uh, but anyways, now you do have a, a number of spirit guides around you. And um, Mark and Matthew are their names. Okay, thanks for writing. All right, my next letter, uh, let's see, Try B is Me. Yeah, hi. You know, um, to follow up on our other conversation, yes, I do pick up the Palladians around you still. Uh, and I feel that the month of April is significant here because it looks like during that time they are going to give you greater evidence of their presence. And the person that you wrote to me about that you were working with, I do feel that they are a channel and are in contact with the Palladians. And the planes are also using them to kind of awaken you to your connection. Okay, so you're going to get more evidence here as we get closer to April. And it's nothing to be afraid of. Um, it's part of your destiny. Okay, thank you so much for writing. All right, my next letter is Suburban Legends. Hi, so good to see you. Thank you for your letter. Um, you know, I wanted to tell you that... Um, I feel that the end of February going into March here is significant for you because I'm seeing a connection around you that is related to um, a producer that you're going to work with. And I see this producer is having a connection to uh, England, possibly British television, or they themselves may be British, but I pick up a British connection here. And it looks like around that time they're interested in talking to you. And I also pick up around you another project that you're working on that may kind of be on the shelf, but I see that coming onto the table as well. So I want you to kind of bring out all your different projects and start looking at them because I see you actually getting some production support here 
uh, with this TV producer guy, and it looks like it's around the end of February going into March. Okay? Thanks for writing. All right, my next letter is Juarez 721. And, um, you know, Juarez 721, I gotta tell you, you are, um, you are a bit of a medium, and you are drawing spirits to you. Now, you don't have to be afraid. Um, but I do pick them up around you, and they seem to be coming from a hallway area, um, right outside your bedroom. There seems to be an open portal there, okay? And what you want to do is meditate with white light so that you don't draw them to you in the sense of them taking energy from you. Um, but you do have a little bit of mediumistic ability. If that doesn't work, I want you to put white, um, a bowl of salt right next to your bed, and that will slow down the vibration, okay? But uh, no, you're not crazy. You are getting paranormal phenomena, but it's because you're mediumistic, okay? Thanks for writing. Okay, my next letter is We Jerry one sm Hi, thank you for writing. You know, um, I pick up around you also, interestingly, just like the previous, I have some psychic activity here. And uh, I feel that you have a bit of mediumistic ability, but the thing that's holding you back right now is you have not learned to raise your vibration. And I want you to do that through working on more regular meditation. And I also want you to study the energy um, system in the body known as the chakras. Because I feel like once you learn to regulate that chakra energy, you're going to start to have greater access to the spirit world. And I get around you a spirit guide named Derek, who was a jazz musician in the 1920s. Okay, And he's helping you on the music front here. Um, interestingly, I see somebody approaching you. It looks like it's connected with a band or a group, and they're looking for somebody to work with them. So I think you're going to be ending up getting some gigs here in about uh, the next two to three months as well. Okay, But you are starting to raise your power, and I want you just to work on that a little more through chakras, and you'll, you'll see a lot of results come. Okay, Thanks for writing. Okay, uh, let's see. Next letter, Tammy Gold. Hi, Tammy Gold. Good to see you. Um, you know, I do pick up um, a Paul around you. And uh, I feel I have to tell you he's earthbound. And um, it's nothing to be afraid of, but he is refusing to go to the other side. It's what they show me here. Um, and it's not that he's upset about you being remarried. He's totally okay with that. It seems like he knows that he's deceased. But his issue is that he's not going to the other side just because he doesn't feel like he has to. So he's a little, bit of a, a little bit of a rebel rouser energy here around him. And I think he's just hanging out because he can do that, you know. Um, but I would like you to encourage him to go to the other side. Um, I'm being given the name Gabriel here, and I feel Gabriel is one of his spirit gods who is coming in to work with him. It's an angel, um, the Archangel Gabriel, actually, and they're trying to bring him over. But he, you know, it's his free will, and he doesn't have to go. But I would like you to talk to him and tell him that by going to the other side, he'll be more at peace and he'll be free. He's going to hang out a little while probably still, but he's okay. Um, but he is earthbound, okay? Anyways, thank you for writing. Keep me posted, and we'll talk more about this. Well, guys, I'm afraid that's all I've got time for tonight. But I appreciate you writing, and keep watching. And uh, listen to our radio show tonight on TheMixTalk.com. And next week, I'll be sure to bring you more messages from the spirit world.